What is up, my fellow sinners and everything that goes bump in the night? My name is Toxin. Your friendly neighbor is Sinner. You should know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell to let you know every time I upload so you can keep up to date with me. You should know this, guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to take you back a little bit to back, uh, I believe it's 2013 this film came out. Now, how can I say? I, I'm a big aliens fan aliens with the xenomorphs and stuff like that but there is a lot of horror films that have aliens that i you know we have nightmares about I'm not saying that the xenomorphs are not scary the ultimate predators or whatever you want to call them you know the ultimate prey but this one along with signs it did give me a good scare and i'm speaking of course of dark skies sooner or later when they're ready they will take your family. Do not open the store under any circumstance. Leave us alone! You've seen signs. You've seen how the aliens look, and you know the way they sh they their form and how they stand. Their lengthy arms, their slender bodies, their big heads. You know it, the typical aliens that we would see. You know they call them the Greys, and this one kind of goes. I love films that discuss it they don't really discuss like how could I put this like I don't want to say history or why they're visiting and stuff like that but you know what they're doing here and stuff like that I love films that do that it's not just they randomly just started to do this this one even says it there's a line in it like they're not here to they're not here like the movies say for our resources or anything like that they're here for us and this film goes heavily into that we meet a family you know Typical family, husband, wife, and two kids, uh, two boys, and they they just moved into a new house. One, uh, the the mother is a, uh, a what is it, what is it called? She sells houses, a retail lady, and the dad is currently out of work, and they're kind of having financial problems. And that was another thing that they say about uh, the Grays that uh, they kind of hit you when you're down. And it's kind of like life too. It, it life kicks you while you're down, and this is kind of just like another form of it, I would say. Um, they start noticing things happening around the house. Uh, the the smallest son, it's always the, the the younger ones. It seems like the younger kids, the babies or whatever, are more perceptive to spirits or anything like that. They're like, I guess, the easier target, something easier to manipulate or whatever how you want to put it. He starts talking about somebody called the Sandman. Now, initially going into it. Uh, I thought it was it was gonna be about the Sandman. I love the the whole concept behind the Sandman. So I was like, okay, cool. Let's let's get into this. I want to see what they have to say about it. But the more shit goes on, you know, more paranormal things that happen. Uh, people are sleepwalking. People are a are leaving the house without or the alarms are going off in the house. They have a security system, but it doesn't show any break-ins. It doesn't show how people are getting in. It's just the alarms are going off, so maybe it's the default system or something. I don't know. Until they actually wake up and the mother sees the young son. He's in his little tidy whities and somehow he walked out. Uh, the front door is open. He walked out. He's just walking into the neighborhood. It seems to the street, I, or I believe. And they don't know what the hell is going on. Later, it's another incident after things are starting to turn up. Like uh, turning good for the family, the dad just got a good job. He landed his career. You know, it's like things are about to change. He has an incident where he's walking out. He's sleepwalking out into the yard, and the wife is talking to him, but he's not responding. He just yells, and blood boom shoots out of his nose. Bloody thing. He walks back into the house, and he wakes, and he's in the kitchen. He's like, "Hey, what the hell am I doing in the kitchen?" Nobody knows what's going on. Uh, so they seek help. The mother starts doing research, and it's. Of course, you know, the whole typical thing, you know, sleepwalkers, whatever, it's nothing, there's stress in the household or whatever. It's a cry for help from the kids because, you know, all, you know, they're just seeking attention, whatever. Even the cops say that when they come and investigate the situations about the alarms. It's always just a cry for attention. Literally, that's that, that one cop, it was the same cop that coming by the house investigating. He just kept saying it was a kid. You know, hey, I have kids too. The daughter did something similar. And she, they're just uh, trying to get your attention and they want your love. But all that bullshit. You know how easy people just try to dismiss it. Uh, until she later finds out, you know, hey, this is uh, commonly associated with alien visitation. They even put up a security camera going up uh, just to see, you know, maybe they can see something. They're noticing that at certain times of the, uh, of the night, I believe it was around like 2 or 3, you know, the witching hour. Again, it could have been paranormal, whatever. Uh, 
they're saying that the in certain rooms the camera is switching off is becoming glitchy as it does uh, so they don't know what's really going on the wife seeks a I would guess not an alien hunter per se but an alien expert he just he even says you know he's like he's tried to fight them but he's kind of accepted like there's nothing that he could do he describes the three different aliens you know the greys the reptilians I forget what the other one is but the greys being the most violent they're here for us they want to study us they actually take people and there are some instances where they do return the person that is taken but it's not the percentage is not high for the return rate um and he's he's like hey you know like let's like if you don't believe me because again you know that everybody's skeptical the guy the husband being skeptical about this whole situation is okay let me ask you a few questions you know has this happened has like animals been acting differently uh birds three different flocks of birds have wrecked into this house and killing themselves and because of gravitational pull you know something's attracting them to it boom that's that's one check are y'all sleepwalking have y'all had bodily fluids uh, exit your bodies the sleepwalking the nosebleeds not just from the dad from the son the youngest son and uh, being visited by something that he cannot explain boom there, there's three more checks and then a small implant or something uh, like a slight ringing that only you can hear Okay, like that makes me scared because sometimes there's a little tiny ring in my ear that goes off. I don't know what the hell that's from. So have I been have I been probed by aliens? Does that mean is that what it means? Is that what's going on? Because sometimes I hear it. I don't know, but I don't have a little implant in the back of my ear. What they discovered like it looks like a rash or something that is surgically implanted. If you hear a laugh, it's Miss Moon. You're so just saying. So I'm hilarious, guys. Y'all should, should watch me. See. After he, him, uh, you know, getting this information, you know, he's uh, basically, you know, finding out that somebody is going to be the first person that they contacted that they're going to take. And obviously it's the young son. The young son was the one who first uh, initiated that, hey, something's going on. I've been visited by the Sandman, whatever, you know. So he's plays more attention closer to the, to the cameras. He even stays up late to the witching hour, I say, and watching these cameras and he sees them glitching out. He's slowly moving frame from frame from frame, watching these things, but he can't see nothing. And then boom, literally in one tiny split of a frame, he sees these three shadows. And it's in the, his room, his, him is his wife's room, his kid's room, uh, both of his kid's rooms. So what, what the hell is going on? And then, again, th this is what scared me. What made science scary was, of course, the music. The music was iconic. But seeing them and seeing the glimpse, that shit fucked me up. My scariest part in science was seeing the, the silhouette of the alien in the dark standing on the barn. So these are like kind of similar, but they're more scrawny, and you really can't see no features. It's just black. It's just a black silhouette. It should be. It looks like it should be Peter Pan's shadow or something like that. I don't, I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. But seeing them creeped the hell out of me. So they're they're there to their last stand again, like science did. They board up the house and they're ready to fucking go to war. They have shotguns and they're gonna fight. For their family guys big fucking plot twist it we did not see coming i didn't see it coming the first initial visit wasn't the youngest son it was actually the older son going down the list were like hey have you experienced any you know unexplained illnesses the the oldest son was randomly sick through when he was younger for no reason and then suddenly he got better and then we find uh, later draw like drawings when he was a kid that he actually was visited by the same thing he's drawing the same thing that his little brother was drawing so boom they come and take his son and they're never seen from again although now the parents are believers they have a map up on the wall of all the kids missing all the strange incidences that were related it was crazy guys I did not see that twist coming I thought I honestly thought of course they're gonna go for the youngest kid he was the first contact there were just too many things but boom it did it did get me. I was just like, what? What the fuck? It had me yelling at the TV, guys. I give it two thumbs up. 10 out of 10 because it was adrenaline rush. It had me glued to the screen. There was not a boring part, guys. That one is on Netflix for sure. I do know that one. Uh, go check it out. Let me know what you thought about the film. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below, guys. And please share, share, share my videos. I need your support. I don't know what the hell I'm at right now. I know it's up in the 230s something uh subscribers guys but i need to get to that thousand and beyond so please help me out guys again i'm your friendly neighborhood sinning center toxin guys like i always say if you're not sinning you're not having fun beware the moon guys